Peter Davidson is a veteran Air Force colonel. He retired three years ago after spending 25 years as a pilot. But he's not thinking about slowing down. Unlike most 54-year-olds, Davidson is cranking it up, working two jobs. One at a food processing plant where he works as a maintenance engineer. Obviously the horsepower is incorrect. It's not able to handle the load. In order to support his dream job, a 20-acre farm near Fresno. While I was in the military and trying to decide where it was I wanted to retire when my military service was finished, it was pretty clear to me that I wanted to come back to the farm. And, uh, and since the farm had been uh, not actively farmed since about 1990, I wanted to come back and just resurrect it and uh, start working the land. I get a big yield off of that over there too. Since childhood, farming has always been high on Davidson's to-do list. But just how to do it and make a living is the challenge. At least for the row crops that I have been doing, corn probably has the highest potential yield for me. I had a very poor yield last year. Now, I made enough just to cover the expenses and that was about it. Nothing for my time and, or my wife's time. Pete figured it out, we were probably giving ourselves five cents an, uh, you know, five cents an hour. I'd be afraid. She... With the help of his wife, Lisa, Davidson is determined to turn the farm into a sustainable operation, growing almonds, row crops, and raising animals. How's she doing on her food? Reaching his goal won't be easy. But with the assistance of the Farmer Veteran Coalition, Davidson feels confident his farm will succeed. They did a couple things right up front that were very helpful for me in those early stages. One of them was they said, hey, we're going to cover your uh, organic certification fees for this first year. Secondly, they, what they did is they sponsored me to go out on a trip out to uh, Des Moines, Iowa to be part of a seminar for organic farmers. The Farmer Veteran Coalition believes that agriculture is the industry to go into right now, particularly here in California. Michael O'Gorman heads the Farmer Veteran Coalition located in Davis. The opportunities for skilled employment, for training, for cutting edge technologies, for self-employment are there. We recommend that veterans use their post 9-11 GI Bill, which is extremely generous and supportive of education, go to one of California's community colleges, get started in a career that you'll never be unemployed in, you'll never be outsourced, and there'll be only growth in employment. Navy veteran Vanita Murray credits the coalition as being instrumental in helping her launch her new career in farming. I was one of their grantees, which was absolutely phenomenal. And so for me, what that meant was is um, I was given $5,000 to buy a hoop house and um, all of my first year supplies, pretty much. My compost, my irrigation, um, my drip, my, um, a lot of my seeds, just, it was like, here's some money to help you get started. They sent me to workshops. They sent me to Eco Farm. They sent me to the Small Farm Conference. They paid for my tuition for the California Farm Academy to be in the inaugural class. I wouldn't have been able to do what I do without their support. There's a good one. Murray has found her calling. Tomatillos, oh, they're amazing. Mariposa Valley Farm, a four-acre plot located in Woodland, where she raises chickens, ducks, quail, and grows dozens of vegetables, including onions and garlic and potatoes and broccoli and cauliflower and cabbage and kohlrabi and beets and carrots and celery and every green, lettuce and spinach and arugula. And, I mean, the list is amazing. We are so lucky to live in a temperate climate where we can eat year round. The payoff comes on Saturday mornings where Murray can be found at local farmers markets, not just selling, but sharing her knowledge about food and farming. And once you wash it, you take off that protective membrane. Who knows what the future holds for the Navy veterans, but she feels her military training has prepared her well for the challenges ahead. It provides you with skills like stick to um, the ability to get a job done, the ability to think outside of a box. It's just a really special breed of people. Plus, we know how to work hard. Are you kidding me? Like, when I have my veteran friends come out, oh, they're so much fun, but we work till we drop. There's, there's nothing like a veteran farmer, I don't think, just because we will stick it out until the project's done.